Welcome back, guys. We've got part two. Uh, let me get that in there. 21 questions. Weird. Guys, let me know in the comment section how you've been finding it. Let me see if ZZ is there. Sorry, Hannah, I'll just do about 10 more minutes and then I'll come and put her to... Come and put the little one to bed. Yeah, she's re really on this conversation, man. Big up to Zizi, man. She doesn't have to answer the questions. and um, So, yeah, big up the trolls, man. Big up the trolls because the trolls, they boost the numbers. <laughs> the, the trolls boost the numbers. What can we say? So, trolls, come on down. <laughs> come on down. Big up, Nita. Amari, how you doing, man? Big up the trolls, man. They, they, they boost the numbers. What can we say, man? Got a stand off, stand for something. Uh, what is Zizi's type of man? What is this? What is Zizi's type of man if she could model off a celeb? <laughs> Why does everyone, everyone wants to know if Zizi is this someone? Um, let's see if Zizi's here. Oh, yeah. Big up Raylo in the building. Big up the Cokers. Um, so what we're going to do, about 10 more minutes, uh, 10 mi or so minutes of questioning. Um, if you do have a question, use the question function at the bottom um, and then we can get your questions up and running. Big up the trolls then. Big up everybody, anybody that's inside who is a troll, we love you. Um, <laughs> you make our life interesting. Um, so we're going to invite ZZ Mills back onto it. 21 questions, if you've never ever been involved in 21 questions, welcome. Let's get Zizi back in. So guys, if you've got questions, put it in the question function at the bottom and let's go through. through I changed through. Um, my positioning because my battery was dying. So no worry, no worries. Um, I was going to say, yeah, big up to everyone that's joining us. If you've never been involved in 21 questions, we ask our guests 21 questions um, with one pass card. If they use that pass card, they don't get to win their prize. And ZZ Mills made it all the way through. No pass card. She said, nah, nasa. And she won herself some yes, amazing... saltfish. Island sun, skinless, boneless, saltfish, dried and salted, naturally high in protein, low fat and sugar free. Straight from Tesco's. I think that was about £5.40. Oof. What? Yeah. Expensive, you know. <laughs> I went there, I was like, okay. It was for my birthday and it was like around my birthday, so I just went, let's get it. Listen, um, all right, we have a question. All right, so some questions here. Let's see. Um, let's see this question here. Can you see this question? So yes. what's something that will always be in fashion no, how, no matter how much time passes? What does that mean? What's you mean like clothes or like? Is that like clothes? Monday was special. Let's know about that. Was that clothes related? Let me get another question as well. Um, what obstacles would be included in the, what the heck? What are these questions? Why this person messing about? <laughs> 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 they are just, just they have one, look at this question. Look at the question that they put. What obstacles will be included in the world? Most amazing. Anti the trolls. Anti the trolls because you make that? our life interesting. On Monday was special. <laughs> they love they're loving it. Uh let's see, let's see if we can get some uh, some more questions. Um what is what is Zizi's let's get this one. What is Zizi's type of man if she could model off a celeb? It's just Elba. <laughs> wow, that was a fast response. <laughs> It's just Elba would be the one for me, I tell you. Like, mm -hmm. how he looks. How he looks, okay. How old is he? He's, 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 he's doing quite well. old, but I'm an old man now, decided. Um, here's a good question, I like this one. This is from Ol o Olufemi. How would, DC, how would Zizi define herself? How would you define yourself? Unedited. Mmm. Unedited. Is there... 
because I remember you were, again, I think you were talking about it with um, Sideman. Um, and you said, you just say it. And he said, okay, but isn't there a way that maybe you were to filter yourself or if you were to say it in a certain way because you know people are not, uh, are going to, you know, drag you. And you said, yeah, but that would mean I'm not being me. Exactly, yeah. That, that would be, um, that means I'm not being myself. If I start <clears throat> thinking too hard, don't get me wrong, there are times when I think, yeah, I'm not going to say that because that is not, it's, that's too much. Do you get mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty much overall unedited, unedited person. That's, that's good. That's, hey. um, let's see. Okay, what do you think of new friends now that you're, in quotes, kind of well-known? Are you sceptical? This is from DJ Shuns. Big up DJ Shuns, I know you. Um, so what do you think I of new friends? This is what I've become against. It's just, yeah. I don't know if I have the, the um, energy <laughs> to get into know people, new people. Do you get what I mean? Okay. And it has to happen naturally. Like, it has okay. to happen naturally. But that, but saying that, it doesn't, because if I start a new workplace or I go into a new environment, mm -hmm. I'm, I probably will make new friends. It would be yeah. like that. It wouldn't be, sometimes I might get DMs like, oh, you're so cool, we should be friends. And that's something that I just wouldn't do because I, that is too forced for me. Mm -hmm. But, oh, yeah, I'm not, like, against someone. I'm not, like, one of these people like, oh, never, I'm not going to. No new friends. I'm not like that, no. I will. I'm happy to get to know new people, but it has to be, it's in the environment. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What does your, on a daily basis, what does your DMs look like? Oh, like, what's the category? It'd be like, just, oh, well done, or, yeah, and then I'll get a random one where it'll just be like, you're so dumb, man, you're an idiot, like, you're so stupid, and, and then there might be a couple paintings in there, but, yeah, you know how it goes, nothing, like, uh, it's, it's weird, it's, um, my DMs are, like, full, but not, like, full of, a lot of people think it's going to be, like, full of guys, or, it's just full of, like, just different people, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this one, um, this one is from funds one. have you been protesting, why, or why not, thoughts on it in general? I went to one, I went to one on the Wednesday, uh, the All Black, All Lives Matter, um, not All Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Jesus, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Zizi, you got to be careful. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, I went You're to that Shea one. Shea Byron tomorrow. I know, right? Um, yeah, Black Lives Matter, I went to that. Um, and it was really overwhelming. I felt quite overwhelming. Overwhelming. Um, yeah, I found it overwhelming because it was it was it was sad. It was a sad time to. It was it was like it was overwhelming because it was nice to see so many black people, but for the reason <laughs> that we was all there, yeah. that's why mm. I found it overwhelming. Yeah. And I was I was annoyed as well. I was a little bit annoyed because I was just like, um, why do I have to protest in 2020 for my life to yeah. so people know that my life as a black person matters? Matters. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. 100%. So it was it was like a bittersweet moment, and um, but I think I think it's very much needed. I mean, especially like when you have things like Saturday, which was an all life matter, but basically protests where there was kind of well, they took it to like the next level of only white life matter. But like, do you get what I mean? It's just um, this this is what my dog does to me. Look, look at the disrespect of this. Look, <laughs> what they doing? Look at the disrespect. He's literally. <laughs> sitting on my neck like <laughs> tell me where the respect is as oh, his owner okay. look they disrespectful um yeah i know jesus please allow me i'm it. not saying all life matters jesus. <laughs> everyone knows that because the last protest was based the last protest that we had was well that we were supposed to go got hijacked by basically all life matter people Oh, I've got another one here. Um, when oh, well, that is, When was the last time you got to tell someone I told you so? 
I don't really say that, you know. Oh, okay. You I'd be like, well, you know, be... because you remember when I said that? I don't say I talk to... I said, it's kind of like what I was saying the other day. Like, I would put it like that. I oh, think. so you... Oh, and when was, when was that? Um, like, probably today. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I can't... My, me and my friend regularly have those moments. Like, well, yeah, I told you. That's what's going to happen. I told you. Oh, okay. Like, that type of thing, but Don't not in a... Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see another one here. Oh. Uh, would you say you're an introvert, an extrovert, or a bit of both? I'm probably more of an extrovert than I am an introvert. I'm not really like, you know, yeah. You're an introvert? Extrovert. Extrovert, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's very good. I say so too. Um, what developments, I like this from Olo the Femi again, what developments or growth do you see for your brand? Well, I think I'm, I'm, I don't have any limits. So if I want to do acting again, I'll do acting. If oh, I want yes. to um, be a part of a panel show, I will. Like, I don't really want to, like, especially as of yet, because it's, like, early stages, um, I will... Um, I'm not, I won't limit myself, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Um, I like. I really do like because um, we can. Yeah, um, I, 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 I enjoy doing because we can because uh, me and David Sideman, we seem to bounce off each other quite well. Mm -hmm. um, so Wait, I, we, I we can't, doing... we can't see your head. My oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, we, I do enjoy. Um, I do, yeah, I enjoy um, having a debate with him. Yeah. Uh, let's see about another one here. Uh, oh gosh, so many lots of questions, you know. <laughs> um, oh, I like this one. This is interesting. Triple O music. What can we as black men do to support our black sisters in all arenas, in a pragmatic sense, so in a in a practical sense? What are the things uh, that we can do to support our black sisters? Because we, we we get dragged a lot for not doing that. I know. I think it's just more like vocal support. Do you get what I mean? I think that's what black women, well, me personally, I can't speak for all black women, but I think it's just vocal support. And also, not every time we say something, there's some sort of like defense mechanism. You know, if a black woman says, this is how you make me feel as a black man, don't then come back with some rebuttal. wow, we didn't know that we made you feel like that. Um, we're sorry. Do you get what I mean? Mm. That's interesting. So from a sense of... And I think that goes both ways as well, because I think I think with black men and black women, we both have these it's like deep-rooted issues, do you get what I mean, between both of us. And often sometimes black men will say to black women as well, like, you make me feel like this, or black women make me feel like this, and then we'll say, well, no, we don't actually. Blah, blah, blah. And I think we just, we need to have like a true safe space where we can kind of be like, um, you know, um, you made me feel like this, and I, then I can say, the black man can say, sorry that's not what we thought that's not i didn't know that we made you feel like that and i apologize oh, yeah. and then vice versa you know like sometimes as black women you make us feel like this and then we would say sorry we didn't know that we made you feel like that and moving yeah. forward we'll try to do our best not to make you feel like that yeah. and vice versa instead of everyone kind of always being on a defense mm -hmm. and that's what i'm kind of seeing more and more on social media it's kind of like you know, you make me feel like this. Well, you make me feel like this. And da -da -da -da. So no one's actually coming to some sort of uh, resolution. Yeah. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I think it's important that there's acknowledgement. That's what there needs to be. Acknowledgement yeah. and not just defence mode all the time. Yeah, yeah. And I think, um, especially I think in this time, in this climate, I saw there was a, there was a post someone posted and a gentleman who was, who was being quite racist but he was in a high, uh, in the industry, media industry, in a high leadership position. He didn't yeah. know it was in a small inbox, Facebook inbox. He didn't know it was being put out there. Um, but one of the things he said was, you expect us to take you seriously, meaning black people. Yeah. So it means that sometimes the way we interact with each other 
Yeah. Where it's perceived outside, looking in, gives them the impression that you you lot you talk about black you not you're not even yeah on the same side. And I think you what ask. people forget as well is that although we have black Twitter, black Twitter is now not just black people. Yes. There's loads of people watching black Twitter. So there's loads of people watching our culture. And there's loads of people that, so they're not necessarily black, they're white. And, and, and they are seeing the back and forth of like, yeah. you know, um, you know, black men dragging black women and et cetera, et cetera. And, oh, okay, so black men only like certain types of black women. And these are the black women that black men like. So right. now we're only going to use this type of black man in, you know, do you get what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Dave. Why? Why? I just don't understand. <laughs> it's like he has to be so close to me at all <laughs> times. He's like a human, little human. All right, I've got to get my daughter to bed, so I've got two more questions. Um, okay, I like that. What? what oh, I love this question. Big up um, Nat Kamande. I hope I said that right. What was younger ZZ like? What was younger ZZ like? Um. I think she was pretty much the same. Not as not as wild, I would say. I was definitely a little bit more, you know, calm and um, maybe not so vocal. <laughs> but I was always, like, outgoing. I was always, you know, opinionated and whatever. Um, so not that much different. I just think now I've, um, I've, I'm just a little bit more vocal and, and, and un unapologetic, I would say. Ow. <laughs> All right, last question. Let's see. Um, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, I like this one. Uh, let's see. TBF Cafe. What pro black activist uh, would you most like to interview? So we've got, I think we've got people like, um, especially in the UK, I'd say George, who is the poet. Um, who else would you say? I don't know, maybe a Carl artist. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if a Carl, see, I don't know if a Carl describes himself as pro-black. Okay. okay. But I would love to, uh, a young person that I believe is like pro-black and, you know, um, like is, is George the Poet, I was going to say George the Poet, because I think George the Poet is so, he's so, ah, oh, he's, to me, he's amazing. Like, he's so intelligent, and the way he speaks, the way he articulates himself, it, to me, is just, and I think that people um, listen to George the Poet, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think he's very much for the progression of us as the people, do you get what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but Akala as well. Akala, I would love to sit down with Akala because um, some of the stuff that Akala says, I don't always necessarily agree with it. Um, I think what he he's don't get me wrong, Akala is brilliant, um, but sometimes I do feel like, and this is not just him. In general, I think sometimes as black people we deflect. Do you get what I mean? Instead of <laughs> if there's a question, like we deflect it and then do you know what I mean? So if someone says, What about the fact that, you know, the um, young black boys are killing black boys? Okay. The question okay. doesn't get <laughs> answered. It gets go it goes around and like I would genuinely like to know what, you know, he thinks of that because the stats are there, do you understand what I'm saying? So what, how do we, what is that? Like, what is the issue there? Do you get what I mean? What's the issue with, and why are young black boys killing each other? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I'd love to, you know, find out what his thoughts on that are, but then that could be, but then sometimes I don't blame you because the spaces that he's in, like, if he's on Good Morning Britain and they said to him, what's the issue with Young? You're not going to be like on national TV and saying, 
well, well, you, you deflect it. You're not deflect it, but you're not going to make us look bad as a people. You, you would then ask the question, well, well, actually, in Scotland, da, 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 da. do you get what I mean? But uh, like, don't get me wrong, but Akala is extremely intelligent. Like, it's mad how much information he retains. It's, it, I don't understand how yeah. he does that. But I would just love to have yeah. an open conversation with him. Do you get what yeah. I mean? And not to uh, criticise him, but so I, I can, so I can understand and so I can also learn. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Last question then. Um, just from your viewpoint, where would you say, where do you stand with, with Gliz and that whole situation? Because um, when you posted that picture, a lot of people are like, how can she go back on her words? She was talking about support, black culture, et cetera, et cetera. And it was this whole thing of um, the person who was culturally appropriating uh, like the Yoruba language was mm. the, is the now the same person that you are in a sense promoting. What was your stand on that whole thing? So I think what people need to understand is that my job is to either speak on current situations or things that are trending at the moment. Okay, that that's my job mm. as 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 what I do for the ZZ Mill show. Okay, so. I'm not always going to have someone on my show that I agree with or even that I like, you know. Um, I'm not always going to have someone on my show that, like, and, and I think if I did, it would be boring. And I think it's interesting that people, people don't question, like, Ross Kemp. Um, uh, someone said he wasn't trending. He actually was trending. He was trending. Uh, the fact that his video had a million views and, on Twitter, I, I don't remember that last time somebody's um, video, any rap artist's video had a million views on, on Twitter. Obviously on YouTube, yeah, but on Twitter. Um, but he was literally the topic, like someone just said, the topic of the day. So he was 110% trending. So um, it's my job to uh, maybe speak to these people, um, under, not under, try to maybe understand not them, but what happened. Um, and my thing about that, when I tweeted that, I had already agreed for him to come on the show. So someone from his team reached out. I spoke to my team. I said, uh, I did, okay, we'll do it. We'll do the interview. But so when I had tweeted that, I already knew he was coming on my show. And where that came from was, I don't necessarily enjoy, have, I'm not going to enjoy this interview. Like, it's not something I necessarily want to do. It's not, not something, if I wanted to, if I really felt, you know, I want to interview him, I would, I would have reached out to him myself. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. Um, but I then thought, it's a really, but the reason why he was even able, the, the reason, what the point is, the reason why I was even able to reach out, I mean, to, have this interview with him is because people had decided to make him trend. So if the million people that watched that thing didn't make him trend, there would be no story. I wouldn't have a story to ask him about and speak to him about. So my thing was stop, if you got to get upset about cultural appropriation, stop making people relevant because I wouldn't bring him on the show if he wasn't. Do you get what I mean? I wouldn't bring him on the show if he wasn't a trending thing. And also, a part of me, out of my own curiosity, did want to speak to him because it's like, what made you, What? why was you so comfortable? Like, I, that's what I get intrigued by. I'm intrigued by things like that. Like, what was your thought process? You know, I can, I can detach my emotions from stuff, which I think a lot of people can't do. <laughs> A lot of people can't detach their emotions from things and be like, um, do you know what, I'm going to put my emotions to the side and I'm going to speak to this person logically and see what's going on here. Do you get what I mean? And that's what I do sometimes. I'm like, okay, I don't agree with what you've done. However, I find it very interesting that you felt so comfortable to... And then there's those are questions that I want to ask him, like about cultural appropriation about um 
you know, loads of different things. And this might be the only time when I'm going to have a white artist in front of me that is willing to come on my show where I can say, why are you so fascinated with black culture? Why don't you rap in your own old time English language, you know? Why don't you, wherever you're from, whatever your racial background is, um, why don't you rap in that music, in, in that language, instead of rapping in Yoruba? Like, do you get what I mean? There's loads of things that, the conversations that I have with my friends on the phone is about questions that, that we all have, that we've all had in our group chat about him. Why is he rapping in Yoruba? Like, what's he doing? What, what was that about? Like, what, what's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him those questions. Do you get what I mean? And that was my thing. And I will have, um, what people need to realise about me is that I will have whoever I want to have on my show. So if I want to have a murderer, I will have a murderer on my show. And I will sit down and I will be like, whoa, 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 how does this work? Like, where, where is your brain? Like, I'm, talk me through how you went from this to this or what happened in your childhood because nobody i think it's weird that nobody questions like ross kemp or any of these other uh people that have really challenging people on their show or, or interview or do you get what i mean and it's weird because i guarantee you people pick and choose as well when they want to be upset or like oh why are you giving people a platform because most of your favorite rappers are not positive they are continuously projecting a negative narrative of black boys, of black people. And you're not going to be upset if I had them, them on my show. You're not going to be upset about me giving them airtime when, do you get what I mean? Gone quite, I can't. It's, bit, it's gone a bit delayed. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it's gone quiet. I can't hear. I can't hear. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah. Oh, okay. but yeah, that's basically oh. what it is. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. And I think. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. um, I think it's important we have people that can ask uh, ask these questions and there's platforms to do to do that. And I think that's what you provide. Whether you, people like it, whether people don't like it, um, I think what happens sometimes with these situations, especially with the Galiz situation, things like that happen. It gets pushed to the to the top. Um, people are angry. They're angry, 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 and then nobody's held accountable. But conversations like this enable us to sit him down, you as our representative in a sense, and be like, yo, what was that, bro? And exactly. let, that one, yeah. one, let's be able to actually, people shouldn't just be able to just, it happens and then they can just scurry away. There yeah. should be, oh my gosh, Zizi might actually call me on her platform. Uh, there's going to be a way I'm going to have to talk about this. And that will cause people to maybe think a bit more about the certain things, the moves or the, the yeah. things that they do because they know that there's people, there's a community that are actually going to hold them, you know. Accountable. Yeah, exactly that. All right. It's 10 30. I got to put my daughter to bed, yo. I got to put my daughter to bed. All um, right, then. Guys, thank you so much for all of your questions and um, just opening up the conversation a bit more. Zizi, thank you for staying on for part two. Thank you for part one. Thank you for having and me. For being so open and just honest and just sharing um who you are and your story there's a lot of that we can take from it um so thank you god bless you man seriously thanks for having me all the time all the time saltfish on the way yeah Yay! <laughs> Bye. guys thank you for joining us for 21 questions um it's been lovely to have you thank you for all your questions um if you do really want to watch your both of these back, make sure you do so on our IGTV. Um, it's also going to be put up on our YouTube page. Um, we have a podcast, so we're going to put it on our podcast channel on Spotify and also on Apple Podcasts. Um, so thank you for being involved. We're back here next Thursday. Thursdays, 
9 p.m. 21 questions. We will ask as many questions as we can to find out about individuals inspiring and doing things in our community. All right. So make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you're not following the sit down, make sure you're following us. And um, if you're going to be definitely back, we'll see you there. Big up, Eve. Good to see you. Big up, Rudy. Big up, Danny Yeager. Big up, Anita. Um, TBGF Cafe Official Davinda Vin, I can't say it properly uh, Big Up Cam Olufemi uh, Who else have we got? Cords uh, Linko Catherine um, Who else have we got? Patience Big Up Patience Samora uh, Who else have we got? We've got everyone Big Up to all of you man So thank you for joining in And we'll see you next week Big Up to Proper Corn The best popcorn in the world um, Our sponsors We out Take care God bless